The southeast of England is seriously water stressed, which means a very high proportion of the water in the environment is already used to provide water for homes and businesses. Thames Water supplies 2.6 billion litres of drinking water to 9 million people across London and the Thames Valley every day. Water comes from rain, so ultimately we're as good as the weather we get. As rain falls, it goes to one of four places. It either runs off the surface into rivers, soaks into the soil and gets used by plants, evaporates from plants and soil, or infiltrates into the ground where it is stored in natural underground reservoirs called aquifers. 30% of the water we supply is pumped from aquifers via boreholes, reaching depths of between 20 and 200 metres. The other 70% is pumped from rivers, but as the vast majority of this water also comes from aquifers, groundwater is our most important source of water. For water to reach the aquifer, the ground needs to be saturated, so it soaks through to the rocks beneath. The level of water in an aquifer is called the water table. This follows the shape of the ground surface. Due to gravity, groundwater flows from places where the water table is high to where it's low. It collects in valleys providing between 65 to almost 90% of the flow in rivers. As a result, the winter is the most important time for replenishing supplies. The ground is wet, so rainfall can filter down, filling up underground stocks, which will keep rivers flowing through the summer when it's drier. In the summer, rainfall is much less effective in terms of boosting supplies. Although summer rainfall tops up river levels in the short term, the ground is too hard for it to soak through to the aquifers. Also, due to the heat, more water is lost to plants and evaporation. So to fill the aquifers and keep the rivers flowing throughout the year, we need steady winter rainfall.